वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर डी के पाटिल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चांगू काना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स सायंस कॉले कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न द इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम एफ वाय बी सी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री जनरल केमिस्ट्री पेपर थ्री सेमिस्टर टू एंड यूनिट टू सो हियर वी लर्न द एंटी मार्कोनिकोप्स एडिशन रूल सो वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज वॉट इज द मार्कोनिकोप्स रूल हियर the anti markonikov rule is generally observed in presence of uh, peroxide means that the addition of hydrogen halides uh, to unsymmetrical alkene in presence of uh, peroxide that is not taking place according to the markonikov rule it is taking place according to the anti markonikov rule so generally here the addition is exactly opposite to the markonikov rule so it is also known as the peroxide effect and it is uh, taking place by the free radical mechanism you see the example i have given here uh, that is the propene reacts with the hbr in presence of peroxide we get that is the bromopropane as the major product so here the uh, that reaction is taking place by the free radical mechanism and there the three steps are there the first step that is the initiation step uh, second is a propagation and third one is a termination step in the initiation step that is the formation of free radical has been observed means here the benzoyl peroxide is used to generate the free radical so benzoyl peroxide undergo uh, homolytic uh, fission and it creates or it form the benzyl radical and that benzyl radical later on abstract the proton from hbr and it creates the bromine radical in the second step that is the propagation step what happen propagation that means what the uh, uh, growth of your chain or growth of reaction uh, is takes place there so in the propagation step generally the bromine radical reacts with our starting compound that is the propene so here bromine radical reacts with the propene and it form the uh, two uh, molecule or two intermediate that is a primary free radical and secondary free radical in the primary free radical the that is the unpaired electron is present on the first carbon atom okay and secondary free radical where the unpaired electron is present on the second uh, or uh, carbon number 2 so we know that the secondary radical free radical is more stable than the primary free radical so here the secondary free radical that is the secondary bromo uh, bromopropane radical abstract the proton from hbr and it form the two bromopropane as our major product and last step is the termination step in the termination step uh, students what happen in the termination that means the stop of reaction is there so in the termination step the two free radical come together and reaction is terminated or stops there so here the primary free radical and your bromine radical both come together and the reaction has been stopped there one important topic or point you have to remember in case of anti markonikov rule is that this reaction is observed in Uh, in uh, case of hbr only hr and hcl does not show this is the reaction and why it is called anti markonikov rule because it is taking place exactly opposite to the markonikov rule what is the markonikov rule it is the reaction in which what happen the negative part of the reagent goes to that carbon atom which contain less number of hydrogen atom but in anti markonikov rule the negative part of your reagent attach or goes to that carbon atom which contain more number of hydrogen atoms so this point you have to remember in case of anti markonikov rule now the student next reaction we have to learn that is oxymercuration demercuration reaction so oxymercuration demercuration reaction is simply what it is addition of water molecule into the alkene by the markonikov rule so it is the reaction of alkene with the mercuric acetate okay to form what that is a oxy hydroxy mercurial compound which is known as a oxy mercuration reaction and later on this hydroxy mercurial compound undergoes reaction with the sodium borohydride uh, to get the alcohol which is our final product so here you have to remember one thing that in oxy mercuration demercuration reaction overall the addition of water molecule takes place in the alkene according to the markonikov's rule this this point you have to remember so here i have given the general example of alkene reacts with the mercuric acetate water in presence of water and thf tetrahydrofuran is a solvent there so we get the hydroxy mercurial compound in the first step and this is the oxy mercuration reaction and in the second step sodium borohydride which is a reducing agent which reduces 
that hydroxy mercurial compound and it form your final product that is the alcohol. So, these are the examples I have given here. First example is what that is a 2-methyl butene reacts with the mercuric acetate water THF and later on reduced by the sodium borohydride and NaOH it gives what product that is the alcohol that means 2-pentanol is the product. In the second example I have given that is what 2-methyl propene again undergoes oxymercuration and demercuration reaction and you get tertiary butyl alcohol as the product. Third example is what that is the propene is there simple propene is there reacts with the mercuric acetate and then reduced by the sodium borohydrate and we get what that is a 2 propanol which is also called as isopropyl alcohol as the product. So, here if you see the mechanism of this reaction for example, 2 methyl butene is there reacts with the mercuric acetate and then reduced by the sodium borohydride and we get 3,3-dimethyl 2-butanol which is alcohol as the product. So, in the mechanism actually what happened in the mechanism the first step that is the formation of electrophile. Electrophile means what? Yes, definitely it is a electron deficient species. So, here the mercurium ion is the electrophile which is formed in the first step and later on this mercurium ion reacts with your starting compound 2-methyl butene and it form the cyclic mercurium ion. Later on this cyclic mercurium ion as you see there is attacked by the nucleophile that is the water and we get what that is the intermediate. But here in that intermediate oxygen is the positively charged. So, definitely it will try to abstract the proton so that positive charge on oxygen will disperse. So, here the loss of hydrogen is taking place and we get the oxymercurium ion that is our intermediate is there. Now, this oxymercurium ion is further attacked by the sodium borohydride and it is reduced there and we get our final product that is the alcohol means 3,3-dimethyl 2-butanol. Okay. Now, st uh, student the next reaction where to learn that is the ozonolysis reaction. Now, ozonolysis reaction itself indicates that it is a reaction of ozone molecule with your alkene. So, when the ozone is passed through the solution of alkene in presence of solvent like ether, it form the cyclic product that is ozonide and that ozonide later on reduced by the zinc and water to give the carbonyl compounds that is the aldehydes or ketone or sometime both aldehydes, sometime both ketone or sometime one aldehyde and one ketone is obtain there. You see the, I have given the general example of alkene reacts with ozone molecule from ozonide reduced by the zinc and water it gives what the carbonyl compound. For example, ethene on ozonolysis gives the two products that is what formaldehyde and another one is what two formaldehyde molecules are obtained there. So, here <coughs> Here you see uh, that is a 2-methyl 2-butene is there reacts, reacts with the ozone molecule. It forms the cyclic intermediate that is ozonide and that ozonide is then reduced by zinc and water to form the two products that is the acetaldehyde and acetone. These are what carbonyl compound. Now, we have to see the just mechanism. Here the ethene molecule suppose re undergoes ozonolysis reaction uh, with uh, in presence of ether it form ozonide and reduced to form the two formaldehyde molecule. Now, in the mechanism students what happen here your ozone molecule attacks on the carbon carbon double bond of the alkene and it provides you the malozonide molecule that malozonide molecule is undergoes rearrangement it form ozonide and then ozonide is reduced by the zinc and water it form the your final product that is the formaldehyde. So, dear student, student in this lecture we learn the total uh, two important reaction oxymercuration reaction and ozonolysis reaction. So, I hope that you understand all the topics. Okay. Thank you.